friends you get my whole face in this one so because sleep is for the week I'm doing another Hitalia reading another kidnapped fic I don't know why but there's like a lot of them I don't know if it's like a new thing or if it's just like a like fad uh, if it's like a fad new thing or if it's been like around because kidnapping is not that sexy well because when I used to be on here, my senpai wrote one, but she made like money off of it, and I don't think it was like exclusively like these Italia guys steal this chick. It was like its own separate story. I think it was US UK. Uh, but there was kidnapping, but like it wasn't like a sexual. Well, we'll see if this is sexual. Yeah. Italia times reader times Italia reader kidnapped. Part one. All right. I looked at the computer screen blankly. I couldn't think of anything to write slash draw. I don't draw. <laughs> I don't wonder. After spending countless days being busy with schoolwork in my personal life, I felt like I wasn't satisfying my watchers on DeviantArt. Now, I want to say that I had a DeviantArt, yes, yes me, the Tumblr fiend had a DeviantArt, and not gonna lie when I say that I couldn't draw worth shit, so not, what is, sorry I'm trying to fit my thing so I can see my face whilst I read this story, oh great. Well, that's some shit, but I figured it out. Okay. Anyways, so I had a deviant art. I had like six watchers, so good for this chick for having more than I ever. Oh, my day face disappeared. More than I ever did. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Okay. Well, because my face is just gonna have to be gone. Mm. Okay. I would usually, I usually would say it was a long hiatus. Hi. I always say hiatus. Hideous. Hideous. But I really feel like I should contribute some work. The fandom I wrote Drew for was Adalia. Axis Powers. That's not in there. It was my favorite anime show. And webcomic. And, you know, plush thing. So I began to write Draw for it. <laughs> this is sounding accurate. I. I did have stereotypes and maybe some idiot appropriate jokes once in a while, but I still enjoy- Oh, it! It, not I. It did have some stereotypes and maybe some inappropriate jokes once in a while, but I still enjoyed it deeply. Dude, it's super offensive. <laughs> I was watching it, I'm like, Americans aren't like that. <laughs> so, I'm sure the other countries, who in this fandom, I'm sure they feel similar to how I did, except, you know. You know, Nazis and all that. Alright, I sighed heavily and turned my computer off. I decided to go outside and daydream some ideas. I checked my phone. It was 5 p.m. So outside should have been nice and cool. Ugh. Cool isn't fun. It's not a fun thing. Going out for a few minutes. Don't go crazy and think I've been kidnapped, I said to my mom. Stay around the house if you're going out, she replied, keeping her eyes on the TV. My mother doesn't know on TV. Yeah, sure, I respond. Oh, I should make voices. Stay around the house if you're going out, she replied, keeping her eyes on the television. Yeah, sure, I responded, grabbing my phone and earbuds. I opened the door and closed it and went outside next to the gate. It wash, cool temperature. The breeze was nice and not too windy. Some cars passed by, but it was only one or three cars every time. I saw maybe one to two people walking by, chatting and laughing happily. I feel like it's like I'm relating the story. It's like, we guess, a couple cars. I don't think I noticed that because my street's not like busy, but it's like large enough for like a couple of cars passing by, which is the fault of reader fix because. Can't fit everyone. Maybe I should text my friends, I thought. I turned on my phone and texted one of my friends. 
Hey, how are you? No response. I suppose she was too busy to. I checked frequently to see if she would respond, but again. I decided to put on my favorite song and just daydream. I don't daydream. Fuck that. I placed my earbuds on. In. I placed. I. I'm trying to reword this. I placed my earbuds on. I placed my earbuds in. I think it's in. I placed my earbuds. I put on my earbuds. Probably make more sense. And I opened up the app to where my music was. Music app. I pressed on one song which matched my mood and listened. See, this is like a fundamental issue with reader fix in general because it's just like so like broad. Like, <sighs> I think it was so much of Tali who's daring me to do one. So we'll see how that goes. But the issue with them generally is that they're just like, the thing with first person is that you have to have not strong characters, but you had to have a little meat and bone there. You know how it is. Uh, and reader fix are trying not to put any character because they have to appeal to a wide range of people. So it's... You get things like that. It's like, oh... oh sorry. I put on the song that I love. You know, that one. That song. So you get... it. It's just broad and it just doesn't it doesn't like like flow wise and reading wise it just doesn't sound good i could daydream a bunch of ideas but i feel like my watchers wouldn't like them and say they weren't creative like they used to be you know i worry about my writing sometimes and then i'm like oh wait i write for fun fuck my followers <laughs> not really though but you shouldn't let people following you affect your book cho book choices writing choices unless they're offensive oh, sorry. like if your fathers are like hey that's offensive you shouldn't be like no it's my room but they're gonna like you more if you go with your own things or like prompts or like if you go with your own ideas and things than if you try to appease them because then you get shit like the hunger games and oh just it's just not good if you try to appease your audience and not write what you want to write or write a message or not that I write a message. Jesus Christ! I got it. Oh, the other one. Oh, other video. No, I'm like, hmm. okay. So I simply discard the ideas and try another one. This is not how people write stories. Sometimes my thoughts would go to my life and schoolwork, which would make me depressed or possibly stressed if I overanalyzed, which I did a lot. See, that's another issue. It's like you can't general like you can't be like this this song matched my mood or some song matched my mood and then be like I overanalyze and stress a lot because I don't consciously do that. So it's, it's just not relating to me, you know? It's just nah. I gazed at the trees and oncoming cars until I saw one black van parked across the street. Okay, uh, probably the news crews, because honestly we have a lot of those around here. I paused my music and looked at the men who got out of the car. I know this is crazy to say, but it looked like the a looked like the axis from Hatalia. I'm not even joking when I say that either. That's just not. <sighs> I mean, because <sighs> then, you see, the issue with that line, I won't pick on, like, the narrative choice, like, like how you could describe the characters, because uh, that's their writing style. I won't pick on that, but, like, you can't, because this is supposed to be me, or I'm the reader, you can't, I know this is crazy to say, but they looked like, because because this is my experiences and even when you say that I'm not even joking when I say that either that quote it makes it sound as though you're talking to a third party as like a third party so like it sounds like the narrator is talking to me when I'm supposed to be the narrator so I'd be like I couldn't believe my eyes or no nah, you're not even that like I blinked a couple of times rubbing my eyes they looked like the characters from Axis or the Axis from Metalia. how weird or something similar to that. You can't say that because then it, it, 
if I was getting into the character's role and I was, Jesus Christ, oh, if I was getting into the narrator's role and pretending to be them, you can't like, you can't make third party omissions, I guess is what you call it. Um, oh jeez. <laughs> A man with blonde slick black hair with icy blue eyes and white skin came out of the driver's seat. Oh my god, you guys. It's Estonia. Then from the passenger seat and on the right side of the car. Oh, yeah. It's the passenger seat. Right side of the car came two brunettes with curls on either side. Oh. I guess we're getting Romano up on this shit. Woo. I mean, you guys, it's Russia and Ukraine. A short Japanese man came out of the left side of the car with soulless looking eyes. <laughs> okay, I might even got to pick on that because if, you, if you've seen the D animation, then yes. <laughs> nah, nah, it's, it's accurate. They all looked at me. I felt a shiver of shiver run down my spine, and my face started to blush. It wasn't the kind of blush I'd get from embarrassment or compliments. It was the blush I used when I got scared or weirded out. I don't, I don't, I blush a lot, but not like when I'm scared. And again, once again, it's a third party, like, not a third, I think third party emotion is like the wrong word for it, but you're, you're talking, third party omission, that's letting out, yeah, it's a wrong term for it, but you're, maybe a concession, no, whatever, but the narrator is once again talking to me as I'm reading like you're explaining something it's like I don't know it, it just sounds wrong like you're explaining it to a f like that I'm not that person because if that was me then I know what that blush would feel like I'd f it, I felt uh, my cheeks warm up as my stomach clenched or something similar to that stomach clenched and you wouldn't be saying it was the blood like that's too ex like as the first person I'm supposed to, I, this video is going to be going on forever, you guys, as a, as like the first person narrator, I would know, so you have to like, I don't know, this is, I don't know, readers are hard, I don't want to do this, uh, a blonde with slick black, you gotta say the blonde at this point, the blonde with slick black hair proceeded to walk to the street I was in, his eyes focusing on either me or the friends behind me. <laughs> Well, you probably, you know, I don't know if he's saying here that he's focusing either on me, like, he's either looking at me or the fence, or he's looking at me, and then switching back and forth between me and the fence. I got up and paid no attention to the man. I quickly walked towards my gate and was about to open it until... Hey! No, I should... <laughs> what is my German accent? Hey! I heard the man yell. Now I know for certain that he meant me. No one else is on the street anyways. Eat. And now I... Now... And now... Ugh, Jesus Christ. And now... I, I... And I now knew he was German due to his accent. I felt stiff and my face began to blush more. My palms began to sweat as the man kept walking towards me with a serious glare in his eyes. <sighs> You're coming with us! He said... <laughs> he come with us. He said grabbing my arm tightly so that I wouldn't get away. I knew it was happening, so I started to scream, Help! Kidnapper, somebody, please help! The blonde covered my mouth and walked me to the black van. I fiercely kicked, punched, bit, bit, and tried to buy best to scream, but it was no use. All, I, all of that could be heard was my muffled noises. Oh, all of that could be heard was muffled noises emitted, emitting from me. That's, all that could be heard was the muffled noises I was emitting. Because he already had the eye in there. Whatever. I was about to grab my phone until the man grabbed it himself and shoved it in his pocket. Dick bricks. I thrashed around violently as he pushed me to the back of his van. Japan, make sure she doesn't get away. That's more Italian. The blonde said with an E. No E. No E. Starting up the engine and driving off, the Japanese man proceeded to gag me with, with a cloth. Clove. Off. Wait, his name is Japan? No. Wait, his name is Japan? No. No, this couldn't be what I think it is, I thought. I tried to scream even louder after I heard that. Uh, Germany, I don't think name is alright now. 
one brunette said. He had an Italian accent and lighter head than the other brunette. Oh, so it's Italy. I mean, not Italy. It's Veneziano. Venez Jesus. <laughs> Veneziano. Damn me. I don't think you can name. It's all right now. I took my gag off and screamed, What the hell's happening? Don't take me away. How do you even know my name? Uh, uh, she is really freaking out. The other Italian said, <laughs> I don't know, like Romanian there, I don't even know. The other, the other Italian brunette said, Get me out of here. Don't even think about doing something to me. I yelled in fury. Uh, I'm not going to do Kiko's accent. Romano, we, Romano. Uh, I could just do, oh, Romano, will you help me with this? The Japanese said. <laughs> sure. The dark-haired brunette covered my mouth and held onto, onto my body while the Japanese man <laughs> put a white cloth on my nostrils. Here. Uh, here, this will help you relax for now. You know, like chloroform's apps to do, help you relax as we, <laughs> he said. I slowly began to lose consciousness as my body became numb. Don't pass out. Don't pass out. I kept thinking, but it was no use. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I think I could do like one more. I'll do the next part. They edited it to make sure it had no resemblance of me. See? That's the issue. Because you, cause you put yourself in because it's the only thing you know. I'm trying to... Where's the next part? Oh, I found it. <laughs> oh, I have 10,000 messages on TV and art. Well, that's good. Part 2. I woke up and saw that I wasn't in my neighborhood anymore. Woke up. Oh, I am in my neighborhood. I can run home. I was sitting on a soft bed in someone's room. The walls were white and the floor had blue carpeting. Is it soft? Is it nice and soft and rich carpeting? You could have a crossover with the other reader for guy read. I got up from the bed and saw, an or and saw that it was already nighttime. I went downstairs to check if the kidnappers were still there. We got... A man said. But I tried to be sane and calm. Oh. Oh, it's America. Okay. We got the girl boy! A man said. I popped my head out to see who looked so f similar to Hitalia. But I tried to be sane and calm about the situation. Oh, no. See, uh, I think this is Canada. We got the girl of Bori, eh? So, it's Canada now. Uh, good. Bring him out downstairs so we can talk, a man with the blonde hair and a cowlick said. We can't just take him here and act normal about this, the man with thick eyebrows and green eyes said worriedly. Why are they so alike to the characters of Italia? Could it? No. It couldn't be, I thought. However... The resemblance is very similar. Must be a coinkydink. A man with a ponytail said. Is that supposed to be France? Oh, I'm sure she will be understanding. A man with a ponytail said. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. If that's a man with a ponytail, who is this French guy? A man with a ponytail? Maybe that's Canada? I'm sure she'll, he'll be understanding, eh? Well, yeah, we kidnapped her and she understands. Oh, yeah, we kidnapped her and she understands. A man, when a French man said sarcastically. You don't mean sarcastically. Maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> I took a step down the stairs and it creaked loudly. They all looked up at me and I stood there awkwardly. Surprise! The brunette said from earlier. The brunettes I saw from earlier said. I watched closer to them cautiously. Who are you? Oh no. Who are you? So I had to leave. It's. I watched closer to them cautiously. Who are you? Because there's no closing of the, the, the uh, 
the, uh, how you say, uh, not the parentheses, the uh, quotation marks. We are. We are. Man with blonde hair slicked back. The man with blonde slicked back hair waited for someone to back him up. We are countries. Oh, I do an awesome Russian accent. I gasped. That, that, that can't be possible. There's no such thing. Believe it, what's your face? The blonde with blonde. The person with blonde hair and cowlick said, We are countries! So, are you, like, the people from that one anime? I said awkwardly. Left side of his head. I don't know. See, I'm trying to read this in our proper accents. Well, yeah, we are. The brunette with a curl on the left side of his head said. But I'm not sure if she means her left or his left. Nah, it's just a mess. So I'll just do a middle middle of the road Italian accent. My tear my tears brimmed at my eyes. So you're real? Nah. They all nodded. I began to cry. Oh my god, I've always wished for this. I clasped my hands over my mouth and sobbed aloud. <laughs> I feel like I should be out. <laughs> I'm gonna act it out now. They smiled brightly. So you don't hate us? The man with the cowlick said. No, I don't hate you, America. I don't hate anyone. I said happily, still crying. Italy? Germany? Which Italy? The hobo of Italy's? Nitpick. Italy? Germany? Japan? I like you all! Uh, oh, Spain! <sighs> I can't do Spanish accents. Hey, you guys, sorry to break up your moment, but we have a problem, said Spain said, pointing at the TV. We all looked at screen. The news was at the screen. The news was on. A 16-year-old name, last name, has been reported missing. The family is in shock and fear for their daughter's son's safety. The news lady said. She just went outside of my room and I was so mad. She didn't come back and dressed her say, but she was there. My mom said, sobbing. <laughs> mm. This disappearance had made has made parents around neighborhood name. Like, I know, I think my neighborhood does, but it's like a separate cul-de-sac, and it's like a division. I don't know. Like, what if I live in the inner city? Or what if I live in the middle of the fucking woods and the farm? You don't know me. You don't know me. This disappearance has made parents around neighborhood name go into a panic and try to protect their children. If you see a girl who looks like a missing girl in this picture, contact phone number of <laughs> Like that's supposed to make him over <laughs> The man all stared in horror. It was silent for nearly five minutes until someone spoke up. We have to leave. But why? Why did they steal me? I don't understand. Just because I like them a lot? And I'd probably punch half the people, honestly, because I really just nod into... Um... Oh, I got another rush fig. Yeah, I think that's it for this one, because I have to read another one. Not since the time for Megan, so... I mean, it's not bad. I'm sure there's going to be a reason given, unless there isn't. I just... Reader fix are hard, so, like, it's hard to, like, critique them, because they're... they are just, like, hard to do. I'm much better with the sex scenes, guys. Send me sex scenes. All right. So I think I'll do one more than head to bed because I have to I do have to get up early I'm just not up for that right now. Alright.